chaos at the Trump rally in Pennsylvania late today. Seven to eight gunshots fired, at least one in the direction of the former president, apparently grazing him, leaving him bleeding from the ear. Two people are reported dead, including the shooter. Thank you for joining us. I'm Jim Avila. And I'm Kimberly Hunt. We are continuing to follow what's believed to be the attempted assassination of President Trump at his rally today. ABC News has been in special report for more than three hours. Here's what we know tonight. Secret Service agents rushed Donald Trump off the stage where we could see Trump holding his right ear with blood dripping down his face. ABC confirms the shooter and someone attending the rally are dead. Another spectator was injured and is in serious condition tonight, but the Secret Service has confirmed the former president is safe. He is at the hospital being treated. The FBI is investigating this as an attempted assassination of a former president. Donald Trump has just released a statement tonight. He says, I want to thank the United States Secret Service and all of law enforcement for their rapid response on the shooting that just took place in Butler, Pennsylvania. Most importantly, I want to extend my condolences to the family of the person at the rally who was killed and also to the family of another person that was badly injured. And the president went on to say, it is incredible that such an act could take place in our country. Nothing is known at this time about the shooter who is dead. And the president says, I was shot with a bullet that pierced the upper part of my right ear. I knew immediately that something was wrong. In that moment, I heard a whizzing sound, shots, and immediately felt the bullet ripping through my skin. Much bleeding took place, so I realized then that it was happening. He ended with God bless America. President Biden, who was at his weekend home in Delaware, addressed the nation on the attempted assassination attempt. Let's take a listen. 